Global Collaborators asks the very hard question, how do we change the world? And fortunately, we have an answer that starts with collaboration. Collaboration among students who can learn together in their education. Did you know that every day 857 students an hour decide to drop out of school? Did you also know that youth spends eight hours a day using media? Many see this as a flaw in our youth, but we see this as an opportunity. Global Collaborators aims to lower the dropout rates by merging education with what kids want to do, gaming and media, and addressing that challenge, how do we change the world, by connecting them on missions to create a better world through a game platform. Did you know that teenagers with civic engagement experience are far more likely to do things like give money for charity, volunteer, and participate in democracy? So we're giving students a mission, change the world and create the world as it should be. We're using Google Earth as a gaming platform because it's a representation of the real world and can reflect our real world's current challenges. And we're also using a heavy dosage of social media to share and engage the public. So there's three ways to play. One is through mission simulations similar to World of Warcraft. The second is through creative solutions where kids can build a better world. And the third is where students do actual real world actions such as recycling a bottle. The mission simulations are kind of like a World of Warcraft meets Google Earth. In World of Warcraft, you select a character, maybe like this friendly looking fellow here. Then you get a fictional quest that you often collaborate on with others. Often this involves some kind of uh, destruction and all of this results in a virtual reward like gold here and virtual character growth. The gold has a real world dollar value based on an in-game economy. X number of virtual golds from the game, in this case 1,000 from different hordes and alliances, equals a certain amount of dollar value, in this case up to approximately $255. This unique game has bridged the virtual to real world continuum. So the money accrued from this game will actually be put towards philanthropy. The more students that engage with the game solving real world challenges, the more they influence change in the real world. Hence the virtual to real world crossover. In our game, you represent your own character to learn to take pride in who you are for serving and doing something good. Then you collaborate with other students from around the world work together to solve a global challenge, perhaps like this representation of the Gulf oil spill scenario, and then as a reward you receive points, which translate into a real world dollar value and can go to a nonprofit actually working on cleaning the oil spill and preventing future oil spills. The gameplay is simple, it's a three step process. You go to the website, search for a mission, and teachers here can search by subject and common core curriculum standards, and then choose a mission and they team up with others from around the world to work on it. In the creative solutions, it can be seen as a SimCity meets Google Earth, and you can, for example, build solar panels on your school to see how that would look, how much energy it would save, and the costs associated with what it would be. Or you can take a real-world action, like recycling, in which you gain points and build up your character and share it via social media to take pride in what you did and encourage others to do the same. And then there are several virtual world to real world crossovers. Students learn science, technology, math, and engineering skills. They gain a sense of pride in serving their world, becoming civically engaged global citizens, learn how to solve problems peacefully and empathize with others, and their projects actually support real world nonprofits. Missions come from our real world challenges we are currently facing and need addressing. And the game is created where the students can create solutions and help in their challenge. The game often begins with a video educating students on the problem, they then complete the mission with others from around the world, and engage in the real world philanthropy associated with the challenge. So how do we change the world? We can do it. Education, plus collaboration on service projects, plus doing it through digital media and gaming, plus you, equals a better world.